Hello friends, my name is Madhur. I am a digital marketing specialist. Today I am going to teach you on how to rank for long tail keywords in 30 days. Okay, so the step one is we have to log into Google Analytics. Okay, so we are on the Google Analytics dashboard, right? Okay, so let's come back here. Then you have to click on behavior. Okay, see I click on behavior okay so what is the next step you have to click on overview I click on overview right okay see once I click on overview what you can see over here is you have 320 page views 256 unique page views average time on pages 1 minute 53 seconds bounce rate is 62.12 percent exit rate is 60.62 percent right so in this case you get the complete data about the pages of your website as well as the bounce rate as well as the exit rate yeah so if you go down what you can see here is you get the list of pages yeah then which page is getting maximum page views and which page is getting the lowest page views right so overall we have here 10 pages right okay so what is the next step you have to export and choose the preferred file format right okay so if you go here see if you click here you click on export see you want the file format in Google Sheets right so I click here as Google Sheets okay so the preferred file format is in XLS file so I'll say import the data right so this is importing the data right see okay you got it or you can have multiple options if you want to export the PDF file in in it's here so have exported the PDF file see here it is export PDF so this is getting open yeah see it gives me complete data correct as we discussed before so now you have to go for the next step you have to select the post you want to optimize right okay so you have list of pages over here right so in this case what you have to do is you have to select the post which you want to optimize let's say I want to optimize vehicle tracking system page yeah so I'll select this post right then what you have to do is you have to leverage powerful internal linking opportunities okay so what are internal links see if I go here say let's see I type p2.com backslash blog backslash school bus tracking system the best guide in 2019 right see what you could see here is see these are called as internal links right see from this particular guide okay the internal link is actually going to the landing page right see here it is the internal link is going to the next blog post page right if I scroll down see school bus tracking app okay the internal link is going to the old blog post page right okay so we are trying to leverage the powerful internal linking opportunities yeah okay so I say as okay I'm sorry that got disturbed right then you have to check what are your top pages okay 
so I go back to analytics see the top page is index page right now to check the top pages either you can use Google search console or uber suggest right so what I'll do is I'll go to Google search console see now we are on the dashboard of Google search console right see here it is we are supposed to check the top pages so you click on the option of pages okay see now you could see that freetrue.com is getting you 552 clicks 17,961 impressions right so this is one of our top page okay or you can go to uber suggest also right now how do we do that I'll tell you okay you can input any website URL over here right let's say I type as fleetio.com right okay so on the left hand side you have to check the traffic analyzer option here you have three options overview top pages and keywords so you have to click on top pages right see now you have to check the top pages like seven habits of highly effective fleet managers so this is having estimated visits of 1446 right next is fleetier.com 1411 so in that way what you can do is you can select the top pages correct I hope that makes sense right yeah now what is the next step consider linking from the top pages that you want to optimize the lower performing pages from where you want to make it higher right so this point is very important what this is trying to tell us is you have to give a link from the top pages that you want to optimize the lower performing pages from where you want to make it higher okay so if I go here in performance right okay so I'll see which page is having lowest clicks right okay so let's see this page is having 52 clicks okay right and if I open com okay so this page is actually getting us 552 clicks right this page is getting us 552 clicks so you have to give a link from their top page to the lower performing page right so this is what it means correct now what is the next point the more you link to the pages that have the best convergence chances are that they will have higher ranking within the specified period of time so what this means is you have to identify which pages are having maximum convergence okay so this index page of fleetrue.com is having maximum convergence right so if you link from the index page right okay okay so what will happen is will have more probabilities of getting higher ranking within the specified period of time okay so basically you have to identify which pages are giving you the best conversions right so what is the next point pages that are loved by Google are linked to those pages that has low traffic okay obviously low performing pages will get the link juice okay so let me show you the example over here right okay so I click on incognito mode I go to google.com right 
I click on settings click on search settings yeah so I click on show more yeah so I click on United Arab Emirates right okay click on save so now we are in Google UAE right so I type the query as fleet management software yeah so if you go here see here is fleet road so this particular post is loved by Google so here we have implemented FAQ schemas right so this is loved by Google scroll down I click here okay so what does it mean this guide of lead management software okay is loved by Google so now you can give a link from this guide which has low traffic okay obviously those low performing pages will get the link choose okay so you could see that this page is having highest traffic right okay if I scroll down over here this page is having lot of traffic and in-depth guide right now what you have to do is you have to go back to Google search console okay then go back to performance let's find out which page is having lower clicks okay so we'll say let's see here it is how to start a fleet management business this is actually relevant right it is just having 73 clicks 1146 impressions right okay so what you have to do is I'll copy this URL I'll say as control C I'll say as control V right see here it is so what does this point mean is this is a low performing page okay how to start a fleet management business is a low performing page and the best guide to fleet management software is the higher performing page right okay so you have to give a link to the low performing page that is how to start a fleet management business okay so in that way automatically this page will get the link juice from Google right I hope that is clear now we will discuss the next point combining content pieces on similar topics okay so you can go to Google search console and see the ranking for similar terms okay so it is very important that you put more link juice in one URL pick the most popular version of the content then you have to select the least popular version of the content you have to combine the most popular version and non popular version in one masterpiece and you will get more benefit that's why it is important that you put more emphasis in one URL right okay now we'll see practical example okay so let's say I am in Google search console I go down I go here okay so see we'll copy this URL right this page is just having 12 clicks and 487 impressions right okay see 
sí. Go for this view arrow over here. Yeah. 12 clicks, 487 impressions. Right? Okay. So we have to combine this into the masterpiece. Right? So I open this page. Okay. How to use fleet management software. This is one masterpiece. Right? Okay. So this is the popular version of the content how to use fleet management software okay and this is the non popular because it, it, it has less clicks 12 clicks and 4 it is an impression so what you can do is you can compare this post with the popular one it's like non popular version as well as the popular version right okay so that's how this point means okay so, so this means that we are actually putting more em emphasis on one URL okay so this particular page gets updated frequently and it ranks higher in Google clear clear what is the next point keep expanding your old pages with new content as like Wikipedia on this similar topic right so this is a old page right school bus tracking GP system okay so we have expanded this page with a lot of new content over here okay right clear so this particular page is updated as like Wikipedia clear then you have to update your internal links using skimming frog right so we'll go here will say as screaming screaming frog SEO spider okay so you have to install this software on your local machine so it is taking a bit of time to load so have some patient friends okay see here it is yeah so it is initializing components over here right so you can consistently keep on updating your internal links using screaming fog SEO spider okay so in the meanwhile we'll go to the next next point then you can consolidate cannibalizing content with redirects find pages that aren't getting any kind of traffic you can find pages that are on similar topic and then start combining them then you have to give 301 redirect to the old pages which are to the most relevant one here it is see if I go here see this page is how to start a fleet management business right and this page is the best guide to fleet management software right so we have to consolidate cannibalizing content with redirects okay so what you can do is we can give a 301 redirect to this page right so what you can do is we can combine the content how to start a fleet management business right you, you can combine all this content in this particular page and then give a 301 redirect to this page okay so automatically if user is coming up on this page how to start a fleet management business they will directly be redirected to how to use fleet management software okay see 
this is called as framing for SEO spider right yeah so I'll say as search internal I'll say yes fleet you dot com okay so here you actually have two versions right you can say start video dot com click on start right so it is saying applying search it will take a bit of time to load and all data about the website will be generated like you know you'll have internal links you have ex external links right okay so so this is the job of screaming frog SEO spider so okay so it is in the crawling process yeah now we will discuss the next point use land and expand technique you have to go to Google search console you have to check pages that are converting well then you have to look at the queries that are driving traffic to those URL then take those keywords and put them into uber suggest uber suggest will show you the long term variation of those keywords ok to google search console ok so I am in google search console right so I will click on performance tab right ok so here it is yeah you have to check the pages that are converting well ok I will click on pages so you can see that fleetroot.com is having 550 to clicks 17,961 impression so this page is converting well right ok clear now we have to find out what are the queries look at the queries that are driving traffic to those URLs right see it's very simple here ok so you can look at the queries by going in the source code right so I'll say as control F fleet management software so fleet management software this particular keyword is driving traffic and you can say as fleet management system see fleet management system is driving traffic to this URL right so I'll go to uber suggest yeah so this page is getting loaded over here okay so I'll say as fleet management system I'll click on search right so this page is getting loaded yeah so just be patient for a few seconds see here it is fleet management system so we will get the
keyword overview over here right see now we have to find the long tail keywords right so here it is fleet management system search volume is 390 CPSL 34.90 dollars right okay so I'll go here I click on keyword ideas yeah see that's how this gives you suggestions for long tail keywords right so this is having a CPC of 34.90 dollars so what is CPC cost per click search volume 390 right you click on close okay so this is trying to tell me is the average web page that ranks in the top has 28 backlinks and a domain score of 82 so from here you can explore the long tail keywords if I click here related 149 see these are long tail keywords fleet management system GPU fleet management system vehicle fleet management system right then you can say telematics fleet management system then forklift fleet management system freight fleet management system so you get any number of long tail keywords from here okay so this is how you can get it then you have to pick the long term variation keyword go back to the pages and add the relevant one that makes sense right so you have to actually select the long tail keyword okay and then let's say I go back here to use fleet management software yeah so I scroll down over here okay see I op I've opened this page now from here I can pick the most relevant long tail keyword okay add some useful content which is relevant to this particular keyword and update that content in this page okay that's how you will increase your ranking for long tail keywords within 30 days right so you have to keep updating a lot of content with a lot of long tail keywords over here right so see before I close you can update all the internal links using Streaming Frog. See, this report has come from Streaming Frog. It takes a bit of time, actually speaking, right? So you can click on internal links, external links, right? So you get a lot of external links over here. You get protocol, right? It's a very nice tool, Streaming Frog. Okay, they have both the versions, free version and premium version, but it makes sense if you use this for your organic SEO campaigns, response code you have, you have URLs, right? So it gives you a complete report. What all page title they're using, right? And what is the meta description? Uh, yeah. So you can do a lot of comparative analysis using Streaming Frog. What are the meta keywords they're using, right? So you can come here and scroll down. They're not using any meta keywords and what h1 tags they are using right see they are using fleet management solution become a telematics partner so you get insightful report what images they are using right so it gives a complete report about the images so this is a lovely tool so you can please keep trying streaming frog and you can update your internal links so we discuss about the long tail variation yeah like adding interesting content with reference to the long tail keywords update your old pages with new content and within 30 days you will rank high in Google okay so if you have any questions you can write me in the comments
please like and share this video as well as subscribe to my channel.